Skins, bucket of bad skins back. And today, on this beautiful, beautiful day, we have MP Mondays back again. And we are looking at some very fantastic maps, such as this one, which is the map of America from 1773. So, about 50 odd so 40 odd so years before we decided to throw rocks um with snow around them at british soldiers and brutally win injuring them to then have them shoot at us because they are we were attacking them with rocks which makes a lot of sense and that is how everybody the revolution started so looking at this map that will be taking a little bit a while to load we will see that this is how they spelt Atlantic with the with the K okay you got the Caribbean right here you got the Gulf of Mexico all great things I like how like Florida is just bulged because it's basically looked kind of the same for the entirety of history since we got over here the islands it was a lot bigger during the little ice age like this would be probably like the little ice age kind of um size but yeah that it's definitely bulged but fascinating to see how everything was in 1733 oh okay well you know who the racists are yeah that's Very interesting. As you can see, that majority of the South, as well as parts of the newly, like these newer territories within Montana, Wyoming, Nevada is a really interesting one. Um, some northern parts, some nor northern states probably have a larger amount of, you know, white people. This is the Civil Rights Act, 1964. There's a lot of geographical positionings where uh, they show where and how people really care about civil rights. And this goes a lot into what's going on today. Um, we have a huge movement um, in respects to more so police brutality than anything, but to how people of color are treated especially those of African descent, African Americans, and how they are treated. It's just so poorly in this nation, it's sad. I mean, this, it took until 1964 to be able to realize, oh, these people are human too. Like, how the hell did you go that long to figure that out? It's, it's incredible just how trash people are in, this, in the United States. It really is just so heartbreaking. At the precipice of a movement, Black Lives Matter. Ooh, I like this one. You can see the geology of this. So this is a map that is showing the world without oceans. So this right here, you can kind of see on like the side of this, this is the crust underneath the South American continent and the South American plate. These plates, are leveled up because continents are more buoyant than um, ocean um, crust and so as geology you have the plates so this let's say this is North America this is the Pacific Ocean the Pacific Ocean crust is going underneath because the continent is more buoyant and it's a lot more stable and so as it goes under it subducts and that subduction creates mountain chains specifically volcanic mountain chains and that's why living in washington state we have all these volcanoes and oregon is the same thing the reason is, is because of actually the wanda fuga plate which is like right around here it's its own little small plate um that sits off of british columbia what happens is, is as it subducts under that entire plate is getting smaller and smaller and eventually it won't be anymore in the very near future then you got the rocky mountains which are created because of the pacific plate going underneath the North America plate. In the terms of like how the plates move, eventually North America and South America 
and Europe and the rest of the Eastern Hemisphere will then come in and create one giant continent closing off the Pacific Ocean. Um, so that's really interesting as well, but yeah, you can see, oh, here's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, that's really cool. So we have the Mid-Atlantic Ridge right here, and what's that doing is it's actually separating um, and what is and that's creating more cru uh, more land is coming up underneath the ocean. It's a basically a giant like mountain range in the middle of the ocean that's just creating more and more crust that is pushing the continents further out or within the Pacific Ocean. So one side's subducting, the other one is just adding. So it's really cool. It's really cool. I love it. So this map is actually showing you the amount of percentage of the Neanderthal genome within humans. Now, I'm not sure, so sure about Asia. I really don't know much about Asia when it comes to it. Um, but I know that Neanderthals originated in Europe. So I'm surprised that the percentage isn't higher in Europe than it is in East Asia. Because down here it makes sense, in Africa it makes sense, because humans originated from South Southern Africa in the Sahara. Another Sahara, the Savannah. It's here. God. So I'm really interested to, to see how East Asians translate back to Neanderthals, because Neanderthals are definitely over here this I'm feeling like this is the uh, the other human species um, that was over here and so with humans being over that I actually looked it up um, it is homo erectus that um, our human cousin that was human like cousin they weren't actually humans um, but they were part of the human genus of homo which means same and so as you can see, it was they were more over here. So it's kind of in, it's really odd that the Neanderthals are higher in amount over here than within Europe. There has to be some kind of reason for that, but what can you do? You know, really interesting. I love genetics. Genetics. Are cool. Okay, so this is a congressional district map that shows the amount of leaning that certain parts of different states go based off of their congressional districts. As you can see, there's a trend. This entire country is very red. <laughs> but the thing is, is some of these states that are a little more red don't have as many people. And so that affects how different parts lean. You see right here, this is the ninth and the eighth, no, the sixth, seventh, and I am within the ninth district, and so we are heavily blue. We're very blue, like be blue beyond belief. Like we get twenty plus. Like it is always going to be blue. Whereas places like Wyoming are always going to be red. It's never going to change. Um, but as you can see, major cities will always get the blues LA um, <laughs> you can see that it is totally blue which makes sense it's a major population Phoenix same reason it's gonna be a lot more blue because it is a city cities tend to be and apologies to a lot of the other other cities and towns and places in the country but you're especially the heavy Republican ones typically don't have a lot of people typically they just have a lot more people they have a lot more edu better education better facilities and so usually that leads to them being more democratic whereas those that are a little more rural more traditional more conservative middle nowhere rednecks will always be Republican it's just kind of how it is. If you're planning on making a video on how to make our government better when it comes to voting, because there's a lot of issues with voting in this nation, and 
it is a right to vote. You don't have to vote. I strongly encourage you to vote because that determines who gets to be in the, where is it? This little area right here known as Washington, D.C. Because this upcoming election, like 2016, doesn't really have a lot of good options in my opinion. Oh, snap. So, or good options that can win. Because we're so ingrained in a two-party system that it's very difficult for independent parties to win. And that's why I think we should change it. So then people feel that they don't have to vote for a Democrat or Republican. <laughs> What? Le hexagons made of hexagons. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> there's there's no legend, no nothing. I like what what is this? It doesn't really say anything on what each one of these hexagons mean. It's just hexagons. That's it. It's just hexagons of France. Uh, what? Excuse me? <laughs> what? I don't... I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Le Hexagon. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you for tuning in to another rousing round of um, MP Monday. Um, my god. <laughs> I love my Le Hexagon. <laughs> um, but thank you for joining in. Um, enjoy your fantastic day. Um, and have a good one. This is Bucket of Baskets, signing off.